morning folks. Today is part one of a several series videos on how to set up your own MAME arcade system. The motivation for doing this is my partner John Lee. John and myself are avid gamers. And being avid gamers, we thought to ourselves, what better way to feed our enthusiasm in this game and then to build our own arcade system. So one of the most important and essential parts is John already figured out and that's setting up the game. So he figured out he has expertise in Hyperspin and the Launch Pro and the emulators, the ROM. These are things that operate or are actually the game. So the ROMs and the emulators are the actual game. So he has about Two to three thousand of these configured and working. So being that we have on a four terabyte hard drive and there's still hundreds of other systems out there that he's configuring um, as we speak. So some of the PlayStation, some of the Nintendo, the Wii, the Gemini, the Neo Geo, all the other gaming. Um, systems all on this one four terabyte hard drive so in order for us to take advantage of that system you need to build a PC system to go inside the cabinet so that's what we did today so video first video is explaining what took me about 45 minutes to do was to uh, put the PC including the OS um, together so what we have here is we have a Asus motherboard uh, Z170 series gigahertz board we have Intel processor on that i3 3.8 gigahertz we have a Radiant uh, RX 460 video card with uh, 4 gigs of DDR RAM on it we have 4 gigs of DDR4 RAM installed on the motherboard we have a 120 gigabyte uh, SSD drive installed as well as an optical drive and we have a power supply. So that is the basics of our gaming system. The next video I will go into is once I order my buttons and I'm looking at the uh, HAP uh, buttons and the San Juan joystick which is a Japanese made joystick which they say is one of the best which were in a lot of the original uh, uh, arcade cabinets. So the next video I work on is actually wiring the buttons and the harness. I'm going to go with an iPad 2 which is really just a keyboard emulator that gives you USB so it emulates the keyboard for your buttons and your joystick um, it converts that over to a USB um, so you can play it um, through your computer. So once that, once I order that and that comes in, I go through the setup and the configuration as well as the wiring of the buttons. So I think that's it for today. We're going to do some computer... I guess performance management because this motherboard came with a lot of neat features. Um, CPU doubling, it has cooling features on it, fan control, network management control, uh, a lot of features, a lot of performance features that really will make the gaming um, experience um, a lot more enjoyable. So today, I'm going to go through the settings and do a lot of the configuration and the bias to get this at its top peak performance. So I think that's it for today. So signing out, this is Lord, and look forward to part two of configuring your own main gaming system.